off like that hey y'all and then go so today is september 17th it is my due date i am 40 weeks exact and baby still in there cooking don't look like nothing is going on in there so i've been doing a lot of research about things i can do to self-induce my labor um so i get induced tomorrow which i don't want them to induce me i want them to induce myself um, but, um, it don't like it's gonna happen as far as him coming on his own. So I'm going to induce myself. I have done research. I have asked people, so do not come at me with all of you should have done that type of things. I prayed about it, all that stuff. So, so now you could be like, Kiki, how are you going to induce your own labor? Castor oil. So I went to Walgreens and found the castor oil. If you watched my previous vlog, um, I think it was titled The Day Before Baby Comes. I think it's the last video. I'll put it somewhere here, but um, I told y'all that Walgreens, I was searching around for it, I couldn't find it, Walgreens had it. So I'm about to do that. It is recommended to do it when you're full term. It is, it is safe for pregnancy. They just say do not do it unless you're full term. Me, I'm 40 weeks exact today. So I'm full term. So it is safe for me to do this. I am going to do it with orange juice. I'm not going to do this by itself. A lot of people said it is nasty. My guess is they never had oil in their mouth before. I have um, oil pool before, so I know how certain oils taste, but um, I'm pretty sure it's no different from any other kind of oil. Um, and I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth and I was hoping that that would kind of help too with the texture, I guess, because I heard it's real thick. <clears throat> so they recommend you to do between one and two and a half tablespoons every four hours. I'm only gonna do two tablespoons this one time. If it doesn't work, I'm not gonna do it again. Um, and also I feel like if you do not think your body is ready for this, don't do it. I do think my body is ready for it. I am already at three centimeters. I'm feeling pressure down there. And um, I, like I said, I feel like you know if your body is ready. Um, you know, um, that's why it's not recommended for you to do it earlier than what you're supposed to because more than likely your body isn't ready. So I'm about to do that right now. And let's hope that it works. The exact time right now is 10.23. My plan was to do this earlier when I got home from dropping um, Kaden off from school, which was nine o'clock. But I started editing the videos and I wanted to get videos out. That way, in case I do go on labor, I have videos uploading. So I'm about to do that right now. So here is the last shot of my belly. This is a 30 week exact bump, okay? So I got my orange juice, cup, castor oil. Let me get my measuring. Where is my teaspoon on there? Okay, this is a half of a tablespoon, I mean. So I'm just gonna do four of these because I don't know what happened to my whole tablespoon. Oh, it's so thick. Okay. That's one. And that's two. So that's all I'm gonna do.
And then I'm gonna put a lot of orange juice in here. Oh goodness, this is hella big. Okay, look. All right, y'all, here goes nothing. that bad <laughs> all right so I did all that in three minutes <clears throat> and it says that it is supposed to start working in about two hours so I have time to go ahead and um clean up the kitchen and then um they said to go walking afterwards but I'm not gonna walk I gotta clean up so that's gonna be my exercise so I guess I'll come back to y'all with times and let y'all know I go. Also, I forgot to mention that every video that I saw, or everyone that I watch, people was doing it around five o'clock. I'm not sure why they did it so late. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing it early is because I'm up right now, and I don't want to have to do it when I'm getting tired later on in the day, because I want to be able to get sleep later on. So I'm hoping that this would happen before 10 o'clock p.m., hopefully. Um, if not, I don't go to sleep anyway until about 2 or 1 o'clock. So if it happens before my regular time of going to sleep, I'll be perfectly fine with that. I just don't want to be sleep deprived when this goes on. And, um, you know, be extra tired. So that's why I went ahead and did it now. Plus, um, it'd be perfect timing for my husband to get off of work or it's, you know, time for him to leave work and not be in traffic. Um, what else? I think that's it. So yeah, every time I watch a video, people are doing it around five o'clock and they end up going into labor. I had some still on my lip. Going into labor like around one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And I just, excuse me, I didn't want to start the labor. At that time, I want to at least try to, hopefully it ends at that time, if that makes sense. All right, y'all, it is 10.56. It's not even 20 minutes. <laughs> Well, it's exactly 20 minutes since I drunk the drink. Um, I have already done washing the dishes, but I just want to come in here and let y'all know that not even 10 minutes after I drunk it, I started getting a sharp pain in my JJ. Could have just been a coincidence. I don't know. I feel like stuff in my body anyway works quickly, but it could have been a coincidence. Um, and my stomach is already starting to get tight. So I'm about to um, get in a shower right quick because I need to take a shower. And then I'm going to um, lay down. Hey y'all, so it is 1.21. It's been almost three hours. I guess you could say three hours because it's um, two minutes till. And I'm just coming to give y'all an update. Nothing is going on, nothing has happened. Um, I did fall asleep probably for like an hour, 30 minutes. And um, in between that time, I did feel like a sharp pain, like right here on my stomach, like this little line right here. It was like a pulling type of feel. And it lasts for like maybe three minutes and then it stopped and it have not since then. That was around 1240-ish. Um, so I don't know what that was, but so far nothing happened. I'm just sitting here right now editing another video and I'm bouncing on this ball. Well, I'm rotating right now, like rocking on the ball right now. But I've been bouncing on the ball. Still nothing. Just wanted to come in here and give y'all an update. And I did not take a shower. I thought about it. I said that if anything was to happen, like if my water was to break off, I started contracting. I probably wanted to wait until to get in the shower. That way, um, the warmness from the shower, or maybe I wanted to see if the warmness from the shower would help soothe the pain. Cause I heard when you get in the water, um. It helps soothe the pain, so I said I was gonna wait just to see if it actually worked and let y'all know if it actually worked. Hey, so I'm here to do a update. It is 3.24, my mother-in-law called me, so I need to call her, but it is 3.24. Um, last time I talked to y'all, I think it was 1.20, almost 1.24, um, so it seems like everything I'm doing is happening within two hours on a dot, so, um, what was it? Even twelve, like around twelve twenty-four ish. I started having that bad cramping feeling, I think. And then um, I checked in with y'all at one twenty-four, one twenty. And right after I talked to y'all, I did eat something. And now, like I said, it's three twenty-four. And I got up to go check on something, and all of a sudden, my stomach started. My mama, matter of fact, my stomach even started hurting. I just felt 
like I need to use the restroom and TMI, but I did have diarrhea. <laughs> so that is the first thing, but it seems like everything is happening within two or three hours on the dot. So, um, it, I mean, my stomach wasn't hurting. It's just that I knew I had to use a restroom, if that makes sense. So I guess, I mean, it wasn't nothing bad or nothing. Like my stomach wasn't hurting. I just had diarrhea. So I guess if anything happened within the next hour or two, I will check back in. Oh, 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 o